Hey there folks, today I'd like to take a casual peek into our 7th unboxings of goodies from Hobby Link Japan. Munchkin number 2 is going to assist me uh, with these unboxings. You want to say hi? Hi. And uh, it looks like he has no assistance to help him out. I guess they're taking a vacation day or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, for uh, these unboxings, uh, we have a couple of boxes from uh, Hobby Link Japan. I had ordered uh, some goodies through there and my... Found a, a day later uh, some more goodies I wanted to get. So uh, these are two separate orders, uh, but they both arrived today. And uh, this uh, un unboxings uh, is a little bit different than my normal unboxings. And uh, we're going to go ahead and explain that as soon as we get these uh, opened. And we're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, which one do you want to unbox first? Mm. Uh, you want to open the smaller one here. Let's go ahead and push this one aside so we can go ahead and open this one up. Now, I'm not sure which is the one I ordered first. I actually didn't look at the packing slip uh, uh, in detail to find out uh, which one I had ordered the day before the other one. But uh, we'll find out. And uh, let's go ahead and rip this open uh, so it can make it easier for me to unbox here. Let me put this down. Wow. <laughs> Sorry about that. I bumped the camera again. It seems like every time I bump the lens, it turns the camera off. But let's go ahead and unbox this here. And it uh, looks like I already cut some of the tape off. Uh, you want to hold on to that while I cut this here. And uh, these items took about four days to deliver from Japan. Uh, like I said, uh, they were ordered a day apart, but... Um, both arrived today at the same day, so there we go. There we go. Let's go ahead and we'll put this down again. Lock it again. Yeah, I'm not getting this tape. Uh, I can open it. There we go. All right, you can't open that. I can uh, open that. Right. Oh, there we go. Ah, there we go. Whew. That was pretty tough. I first ordered a Gundam. Oh. Yeah, cool. A whole bunch of stuff here. That's your heavy arm. You wanna uh, hold the box <gasps> down? Right, there we go. Hold the box down there. I think I might have an accident. No, it's still this. going. How do you know? Very cool. For 27 minutes. Yeah. All right. Looks like a whole bunch of goodies here. And uh, before we actually take a look at these, let me go ahead and explain uh, what uh, I was uh, trying to explain earlier. I've, uh, due to circumstances which I won't go into uh, in this video, but uh, uh, I've had uh, some time to actually renew a, a hobby of mine. Uh, and it's sort of kind of new. Uh, but uh, uh, I've been uh, doing modeling on and off for over the years and uh, this particular uh, type of modeling is actually new to me and it's called Gunpla uh, which is Gundam plastic modeling and it's uh, Gunpla is something that I've uh, purposely ignored for the past 20 years uh, not because I don't like it it's just that it's just so big uh, and uh, I didn't want to get sucked into that hobby uh, <laughs> at the time. And uh, but now uh, I've renewed interest in uh, in modeling. Uh, like uh, I I'm primarily model like ships and stuff uh, and uh, spaceships. And but uh, I decided to give Gunpla a try. And we're gonna go ahead and take a peek at what I was able to uh, order through Hobby Link Japan and it's uh, actually quite a bit. I think uh, I fell into the trap that I was trying to avoid for the past 20 years where I just get really sucked into it and 
<laughs> and you can see there's quite a few that I ordered here. And we're going to go ahead and take a peek at uh, what I was able to order. Let's we'll start out with this. All right. This is a uh, high-grade uh, build custom a canine dog pack. And this is part of the Build Fighter series. Now, Gundam in general, there's been there's a whole bunch of series uh, over the over the past 20, 30 years that uh, Gundam has been going on, and I, I've been catching, trying to catch up on uh, videos as well. I'm currently watching four, I think, Gundam series. Uh, the original uh, Mobile Suit Gundam 0079. I'm watching Gundam Wing, which is the first exposure I've ever had with Gundam back in the 90s. And uh, I'm also watching uh, Build Fighters here and Gundam Unicorn. So, yeah, I'm trying to catch up on the Gundam universe. Yeah. And uh, that was the one I was watching earlier. Oh. Yeah. And, uh, but this one here is for uh, the. Um, Build Fighter series, which was the most recent uh, series that just ended its first season. Uh, it's, there's going to be a second season coming out, which is kind of cool. So, and uh, the neat thing about the Build Fighter series is that it focuses on gunpla, uh, which is kind of neat. So it's not set in the Universal Century or anything like that. It's just uh, about uh, a series about model builders uh, taking their creations and. Uh, in, Entering a like a uni, like a virtual contest type of thing, so which is uh, pretty neat. And uh, what's neat about that series is that uh, while there are not totally new suits and uh, that are introduced, there are really uh, modifications of uh, suits that have occurred over uh, the past twenty some odd years that uh, Gundam has been around. So that's kind of neat. Uh, but this one here is a canine dog pack, uh, which is really more of an accessory type of pack. Uh, so that's kind of cool. And uh, Hobby Link Japan had them for less than $10. So I went ahead and picked that up. I picked up uh, this one. Ooh, this got crushed. The box got crushed here. Got squished. This one is a build booster for the uh, Build Strike Gundam. So pretty cool. And I did pick up this one here, uh, Build Gundam Mark II, uh, from the Build Fighter series. And I did pick up this, uh, GM Sniper K9. So Sniper? this, yeah, that uh, suit uh, would go with this uh, accessory set. But uh, you don't necessarily have to have it with that set, but it's uh, a nice companion to have with that. Oh, and I also was able to get a Build Strike Gundam uh, full package, so this Build Booster uh, would complement uh, this set rather well. And I uh, got here a Build Booster Mark II. Oh, and this uh, would go well with the Build Gundam Mark II. So basically I got the accessory sets and the uh, high grade uh, kits to uh, to go uh, with uh, each other so pretty cool and uh, here uh, we have some neat little kits that uh, I think a Bandai is doing a promotion on this summer uh, basically if you uh, purchase a high-grade kit from a participating uh, dealer you get these neat um, I guess uh, weapons? Uh, weapon accessories and it, they're randomized so it looks like I got three of these uh, one for each of the high grades that I purchased here and uh, this one is set letter D and it looks like it has a nice sniper rifle there and sniper. some other ones and a little uh, what looks like a submachine gun <laughs> I don't know what that is exactly we also got uh, letter F on there Looks like I uh, got a couple melee weapons there and some other neat stuff. So, pretty cool. And uh, looks like we have a uh, letter E. So, which is neat. Now, from what I remember, th these items that I ordered here was from the second day uh, that uh, 
I ordered from Hobby Link Japan, uh, just based on the Build Fighters. Uh, mainly, I got them mainly for the promotion that was going on. So, I, and I didn't find out until after I had ordered uh, from here from the day before. So I was like, oh, that kind of that was kind of a bummer. But uh, actually, kind of a neat surprise, and I'll let you know uh, when we open this one here. But uh, these kits here. Uh, the high grade kits I think cost about 1300 yen each or roughly I one may be more expensive than the other but uh, uh, but the the high grades usually go for around that much on hobby link Japan unless it's a really large kit uh, but these are pretty much standard size high grades uh, from the build fighter line so that's cool and uh, we're gonna go ahead and unbox uh, this one here, this bigger one. And go ahead and open this open. There we go. Now, when it comes to Gunpla and Gundam, uh, there is really nothing available in my area. One or two shops, but that's about it. Uh, I have to go to the Bay Area to just to find a decent, uh, dedicated shop to Gunpla. So a lot of my uh, purchases of Gunpla are going to be online. Even though I was able to find some at Barnes & Noble, but uh, they have a really limited selection. But yeah, I really have to go either out of town or online. And we're going to go ahead and take a peek at what I was able to order on my first order from Hobby Link Japan and we're gonna cut into this. You wanna help me out buddy? Well I cut into that. There we go. And see, cut that. And let's go ahead and uh can you hold the box while I slice into here there? There we go. I think we got it. Uh, uh, there we go. And uh, let's go ahead and open this up. Can you help me uh, open this, buddy? Uh, oh, I can't get open here. Let me put this down again. Uh. Oh, wow. <laughs> There's quite a few items in there. <laughs> so. More stands. Yeah. Let's go ahead and... Uh, yeah, um, right, let's go ahead and take a look at these first. And Oh, you want, what is this? Mm. Oh, you, Munchkin number two wants to share this. Uh, we were able to pick this up while we were in the Bay Area. Uh, this is a, uh, what's this one called? An advanced grade um, kit uh, for uh, beginners, uh, such as Munchkin number two, who's never really done any modeling. But this will be uh, one of his first kits there. So, yeah, are you looking forward to building that one? Today. <laughs> yeah, today. Okay. So, let's go ahead and take a look at the contents in here. We got quite a few. All right. Cool. Yeah. Oh, sweet. We got a whole bunch of stuff here. Too many. You will never spend too many. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Here, right. That's uh, quite a few. <laughs> All right. Uh, first uh, goodie we're going to take a look at here is a uh, Goof uh, R35. Uh, this is from the Build Fighters line again. So this is a customized uh, suit, mobile suit that's used uh, that was used in the series, and of course, Goof is a uh, a mobile suit that was uh, featured in the original uh, mobile suit Gundam series, uh, but makes an appearance or a modified appearance in uh, Build Fighters. So I think this was about thirteen hundred yen to two thousand yen. I'm not sure. So. And, uh, cool. This is one I've really been looking forward to getting. This is a high grade uh, Zaku uh, Amazing uh, from the Build Fighter line again. And uh, 
this uh, the Zaku is the actually one of my favorite suits so far, and I really like the Zaku set. And the colors here out represent Char, <laughs> or uh, a, a nod to Char, I should say. It's not Char's suit, but uh, pretty cool. Look forward to building that one. And I think that one was about two thousand yen, there, or maybe a little bit cheaper. Okay, this one here is uh, an accessory set for build fighters, uh, Meteor Hopper, and uh, this is a kit that really complements um, uh, uh, Feniche, uh, one of the characters from uh, Build Fighters. I already have the Feniche kit, uh, I found it at a Barnes & Noble uh, for $15, but uh, they didn't have the, the accessory kit, so I went ahead and got it through Hobby Link Japan. This was less than ten dollars. I think it was like five or six bucks or something like that. In cool, we have the amazing booster, which complements uh, the Zaku amazing kit. It's a, a booster kit. It's a pretty neat. And uh, we have this here. This is a amazing weapon binder. Uh, which complements uh, this uh, particular kit, which I already have it. Where is it? I think it's in the bag somewhere over there. Uh, and I got it for the extra weapon uh, and storage for that uh, kit. I'm trying to remember what's the name of that guy. So, but it's a pretty. It's I think a derivative of the uh, Zaku suit, but uh, that's pretty neat. A uh, Kempfer. That's it. Now that's the name of this uh, kit. The Kempfer kit. Cool. Uh, I picked this one up. This was like five bucks. This is a, an older, it's not even a, yeah, it is a high grade uh, Universal Century. But uh, this is a, a gun cannon. This was uh, a, a suit that's from the original series and an older uh, that's kit. That's really cool. And it was really cheap, so I don't uh, expect too much in the way of uh, the features uh, that the newer kits have but uh, still it's nice to get uh, an older set there so yeah the cannons are really cool yeah pretty cute cool. pretty neat and uh, i was able to pick up uh, this kit uh, this is from the cosmic era high grade cosmic era it looked pretty cool i i don't know anything about this one this one's from, from uh, gundam seed which i have not watched yet so I don't know anything about it, but I thought it was pretty cool and picked it up. And it was re relatively cheap. I think it was like 1,300 yen on there. And this is the Ale Strike Gundam. Pretty neat. And because, which was kind of neat, before I found out about the uh, bonus kits here, um, I had ordered this set. Uh, but what's kind of cool is that even though uh, the promotion started a day later, they st Hobby Link Japan still gave me the bonus kits for all the high grades that I ordered here. So that's kind of neat. And uh, that was a neat surprise uh, when I saw the order through the shipping uh, email from Hobby Link Japan and what they included. But we're going to go ahead and take a peek at these real quick. Let's see which sets did we get on this particular order. Uh, we got set D. I think we got that one already. Yeah, we got the D already. Uh -huh. We got another D. Can I have that one too? Yeah, if you want to see, we got like three of these now. And then we got kit E again. Did we get E? No. Yeah, we got we E. Do? Yeah. Can I have that? So, we can have that one. And we got kit F again. Can I have so, that nothing too? from A, B, or C. So, yeah, since these are extra. So, uh, cool. And uh, I got uh, this here. Uh, this is a magazine called Gundam Weapons, and it features uh, build fighters on here. So I thought that I'd take a look, uh, order that, and just go through that to get some ideas on uh, if I want to do customizing or not. Uh, I haven't been experienced enough to do that or yet or not. So, but should be uh, pretty interesting. I I like going through uh, picture books. It's really uh, really neat so got that 
And uh, we got a couple bases uh, here at the time. Uh, I was not able to find a base uh, for my uh, kits uh, when they're completed, so I ordered a couple of bases. This is uh, Action Base 1 in gray. I think they're both in gray on there. So, yeah, they're both in gray. And these uh, stands or stages can be used for 1 44th scale or 100th scale. So you can pretty much use them for high grades or master grades. So that's kind of cool. Got a couple of those. And uh, finally we got here a whole bunch of uh, Gundam markers. Uh, another thing I've not been able to find uh, at retail. Uh, so I ordered these uh, through uh, Hobby Link uh, Japan. Let me just open them up real quick. Just go through the colors that I was able to order. I was able to order a green, a uh, blue, a uh, lighter gray, gold, and a yellow, and uh, a darker gray on there. Uh, I think white or off-white. I'm not sure what that one is for. Uh, black, of course, and I was also or able to order fine uh, tip uh, in black, and I thought I ordered one in gray also. But uh, we have here specialized Gundam markers, uh, specifically for panel lining. Got one in black, and I think I got one in gray, and this one's a thicker one, so. Where's the other one? I thought I ordered one in gray. It looks like we have one in red here. And uh, another one in black. Looks like uh, the tips. Did I get the right colors? I might not have gotten the right color. I, yeah, I did get the gray, so that's good. So And black. Yeah, gray and black and fine So in the, for the panel lighting. So got the, those uh, for the kits. So about a whole bunch of goodies for our seventh unboxing uh, from Hobby Link Japan. And uh, this is going to uh, keep me busy. And uh, like I said, I jumped into the rad rabbit hole that is Gunpla. <laughs> so, so, I think it's going to keep me busy for a year. A year? I don't know. We'll see how, how fast I build. Uh, I build pretty slow. So I I'm still go. working on my I second can, one. I can't. You know? I haven't built one yet. Yeah. Well, you got, looks like you said you were gonna build one today. So, but uh, thanks for helping me out, uh, Munchkin Number Two, and I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you guys uh, next time. <laughs>